sex determination is a process that starts during development. A zygote and early embryos are asexual. During embryonic growth, sex traits are determined and formed from embryonic structures that are common to both sexes. The signal that specifies male versus female development can be genetic or environmental. Around 1900, Nettie Stevens discovered that males and females of the mealworm beetle differed in their chromosomes. The male had 19 normal sized chromosomes and one small one. The female had 20 similar sized chromosomes. In the male myocytes at metaphase 1, the small chromosome paired with a large one. The small chromosome was called Y and the large one X. In the following anaphase, X and Y migrated to opposite poles. Although others had proposed a sex role for this type of chromosomes, Dr. Stevens came up with a brilliant theory, which I paraphrase here using modern terms. Females have two X chromosomes, which pair at meiosis. They produce eggs of one type containing nine autosomal chromosomes plus one X. Males have one X and one Y, which pair at meiosis. They produce sperms of two types. In addition to nine autosomes, they carry either the X or the Y. If a Y-carrying sperm fertilizes the egg, the resulting zygote develops into a male. If an X-carrying sperm fertilizes the egg, the resulting zygote develops into a female. Dr. Stevens stated the following. It is therefore evident that an egg fertilized by a spermatozoan containing the small member of an unequal pair must develop into a male, while an egg fertilized by a spermatozoan containing the larger element of an unequal pair of heterochromosomes must produce a female. Whether these heterochromosomes are to be regarded as sex chromosomes in the sense that they both represent sex characters and determine sex, one cannot decide without further evidence. Dr. Stevens's intuition was correct. The demonstration that the sex chromosomes specify sex came in the following years from experimental work with fruit flies. Since then, we have learned much about sex chromosomes. Sex chromosomes have distinct properties that differentiate them from the rest of the chromosomes, which are called autosomal. X and Y pairing and segregation in the male myocytes ensures that two types of sperms are made, those that make boys and those that make girls. Recapitulating, males of certain species, such as human or fruit flies, carry two different sex chromosomes called X and Y. In these species, the heterogametic sex is the male. This means that from the point of view of sex chromosomes, males make two types of sperms, one with Y and the other with X. The female has two X and makes a single egg type, the one containing the X. Depending on what sperm fertilizes the egg, an XY or XX zygote results. The system ensures that the sex ratio is close to or equal to 1 to 1. In some species, such as birds, moths, and strawberry, the heterogametic sex is female. In that case, the sex chromosomes are Z and W. Females are ZW, males are ZZ. Males make a single sperm type, Z. Females make two types of egg, W and Z. In summary, Sex chromosomes form a pair at meiosis. The other chromosomes are called autosomes. The homogametic sex has a single chromosome type, such as XX. Heterogametic sex has two types, X and Y, and forms two gametes, which determine sex of the progeny.